Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually checking out a vehicle. This thing right here is called the Hermes Recovery VTOL, and uh, it is a mixture of a bunch of things. Now, instantly, you can probably recognize this as being a submarine, uh, because it actually has a submarine pro propeller on the back, uh, which is kind of insane. It is also a helicopter, as it has helicopter blades, and it is a VTOL because it gets pushed along by this thing. So, um, yeah, kind of interesting. I guess it's also sort of a, uh, a boat as well, and uh, it can do a bunch of things. So, um, yeah, let's go and jump inside this thing, and uh, we'll try and get going. Once we started moving, um, I guess we're going to try and test out all of its capabilities. So we'll see if it does work as a submarine, we'll see if it works as a helicopter, we'll see if it works in VTOL mode, and we'll also try and see uh, if it works as a boat. Um, yeah. There's also a crane on this thing too, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that are kind of insane, but, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and figure out how to get this thing started, get it in the sky, get it going, and that'll be great. Alright, don't know what I'm doing, but uh, let's go ahead and figure this out. So, disable player dead failsafe. Uh, okay, that's for the auto land. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. So, um, da -da -da. first engine. Okay, we're turning on one engine. Position lights, yes, sure, let's do it. Alright, we appear to have one engine running. Uh, blades, throttle up. Uh, why is it beeping at me? RBS low, make sure... Oh, no, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, and we are moving in helicopter mode, so this is good. At least we've figured this out. Okay, here we go. Seat position. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and press 5 and see what happens. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yes, this is where you want to be. Excellent. So we've worked out how helicopter mode works. You just turn on the engine, you make the blades throttle to go full, and that is it. Okay, excellent. Uh, secondary engine if you need more power. We don't really need that right now, so we're not going to do that. Um, how do I do forward propeller? Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, landing gear, where's that? I seen it earlier, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where the landing gear button is. Uh, landing gear, there it is. Nice. Okay, so we got it in VTOL mode now. It is actually fully working. Excellent, yes. Oh, this is exactly what you want, isn't it? Okay, do we have a mission on the map that we can just go ahead and test this thing out with? Uh, the answer is yes, uh, but the answer is... <laughs> oh, wow, it's miles away. They're all the way down here. The civilians need evacuating. Unfortunately, I don't really want to evacuate the civilians, so we're not going to do that. Um, but what we might do is try and... What just fell out the sky over there? Something just fell out the sky, I'm sure of it. I am... I'm almost positive something was falling out the sky? Never mind, it doesn't matter. So, what we're going to do instead is we're going to fly around, try and find an AI vehicle, vessel, something like that. Um, and then mess around with it, I guess. But uh, we do also want to dive, so I suppose what we could do is actually make our way out here and actually go diving. That seems like a really good idea, actually. Logs Cave, let's go there. Let's go ahead and whack it into this. Autopilot on. Okay, I mean, it's doing a kind of insane turn, but it is working. Uh, we just need to go up. So if we can... <laughs> if we can go up before we hit this mountain, uh, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually full-on working. This is, um... It is working more than I thought it was going to. Which is good, I suppose. Alright, so one of the things that it does say is obviously use the secondary engine for when you need more power. We're just going to go ahead and turn that on and hope that uh, our speed increases from 400 kilometers an hour to um, more than that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that's actually changed anything. So we are actually going to go ahead and turn this engine off uh, and that's going to be A-OK, -okay, I do believe. Okay, yeah. No, I'm actually pretty pleased with this so far. It's actually working. Alright, so, since we're on our way there and it takes ages to get there, let's go ahead and press 5, which changes our seat position. Should allow us to get around the back, and if we want to, we could go to sleep. Uh, we can actually go... Where is this? What is this? Oh, this is like an airlock. Okay, that's like the conning tower of the vehicle. Um, 
I don't think we need to go up there, so we're not going to, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's very cool. Okay, I've changed my mind about what I actually want to do with this. So, we're just going to go ahead and slap this in here and make sure we go that way instead. There is something alarming, which, um, is annoying, but that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and ignore it for now. <laughs> we're going to ignore it. That's okay. Uh, and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get out there, and then I want to try... I don't know how well this is going to work, but I want to try and uh, just turn my um, my blades off. Yeah. Keep repeller stabilization always on. That's not something that I had selected, but never mind. So what I want to do is try and figure out how to fold the rotors. There we go. Needs pushing many times. Why does it need pushing many times? I don't know. But anyway, we're going over there. There is some ruins underneath the water over here. So as soon as we get close enough, let's say one kilometer, we're going to go ahead and spam this, and hopefully it will close up and we'll just, I don't know, fall in the water. Here we go. We're getting very close. Go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go, guys. Okay, so we need to do this. We need to also do this. And we are in the water. Okay, very good. We then need to figure out how to turn it into... Submarine mode? I don't know how we do that. Where... Where do we do the submarine mode? Uh... That's something that I kind of need to figure out, isn't it? It is definitely... Unless it just does it. Does it know that it's in the water? I don't think it does. Okay. What do we do in this situation? Water propellers. Okay. Okay, so that lifts us up. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Okay, this also brings us down. And then, how do we go forwards? I need to be able to... Oh. Oh. I'm struggling. We are moving sideways, but I need to go forwards. So I think what I do is I select this. Yeah! Oh, guys, this is actually working. This is ridiculous. Like, I, I didn't actually think it would work uh, anywhere near this well. Uh, depth... No, 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 no. How do I change the target on there? I don't know how you change the actual... I don't know how you change the target on that. Does anybody... I don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. But anyway, we are moving around underwater, and it is seemingly working. That's amazing. Okay, do we have any, uh... I don't think it's... Oh, no, it does have some spotlights. Okay, how do I turn on the, uh, the spotlights then? Uh, surface slash reset. We don't want to do that. There is a crane to go up and down. Where is that? Oh, okay, it's that thing on the underside. Excellent. So if we needed to actually retrieve something from underwater, we could totally use this. That is amazing. Okay, right, what else can we do? I don't know. What I really want to do is turn on the spotlights on the front. Uh, so, there they are. Okay, so now we should be able to see better. Not really. Okay, never mind. At least we tried. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and surface. Here we go. Nicely done. Yes. Let's go ahead and turn this all the way down to zero. Turn this off. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, our propellers are now out. Excellent. Do this. Okay. And then we should be able to actually just take off. Yeah? Is that working? Oh, yep, there we go. We're in the sky. Amazing. That is amaze balls. Okay, right, let's go forwards. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. So apparently this vehicle was made like two years ago or something, but it's still working amazingly well. In fact, it's working pretty much as it should, isn't it? There's, there's not much else to this. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put the landing gear down. I want to stop it from moving forwards. And I want to go ahead and pull it back if I can. I want to land on this island to our left, above the uh, the cave. Oh, we're falling. Oh, that was my bad. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Because the blades, the blades will stop moving if I do that. But I can land it like a helicopter anyway, so I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, let's move our way up here. We'll land on top of this. Uh, because it's flat and stuff and things. And then we should be able to open up the back doors, whatever that means. I don't know what that's going to do. I mean, clearly it's going to open up the back doors, but 
Hang on. So how do I do it? Where is it? Emergency beacon, surface reset, crane. No, back doors is over here. Where are they? I don't know. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Open the back doors. I have a feeling that that's not doing anything, but it must be, right? It's there for a reason. Oh, block doors. What am I saying? I thought it said back doors. I'm a little bit dyslexic sometimes. I say sometimes, all the time. Doesn't really go away. But anyway, <laughs> that is pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on this because I seen it on the most recent tab and I was like, that needs some recognition because I think it's actually a really sick uh, vehicle and you can do quite a lot with it. But um, yeah, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it down below and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.